Hello, I'm the Broadcast Ninja, and uh, here comes another uh, another sweet medley of how to do something in Sam Broadcaster. Uh, now, you'll probably hear because there's a few things you want to iron out, some problems you want to maybe get get to grips with, and uh, uh, you've searched the internet and you've stumbled on me. Well, first of all, hello, how are you? My name's Marty D. Donovan. Uh, I've been a DJ on internet radio now for uh, around 20 years. It's a long time, I know, to talk about internet radio for 20 years sounds mental, but that's how long it's been going. Uh, Google it, you'll soon find out. Anyway, today we're looking at Sam Broadcaster Pro. Now, if you if you were here on my last video, uh, you would have seen that we made um, playlists and we put folders, uh, categories in folded categories. So let's have another look where we were with that, shall we? Uh, here we go. Um, bombity bombity bomb. Bear with me. Bibbity bobbity boo. There we go. Right. So um, that is where we are. Uh, now, if we look here, we can see here is the folders that we made we, and we put music in them. By now, I hope you've at least got some folders here and you've divvied up some of your music, be it Deep House, Dirty Trance, Naughty Beats, uh, whatever it is that you specialize in. Um, uh, I hope you've laid it out into some form of order. Um, and then we made clock wheels remember that we went in up here and uh we went to playlist rotation rules and we went to config and we cleared that off and we made um our own playlists our own random um little clock wheels here and one thing uh, i didn't touch with i will touch with this one here is a random clock wheel okay if i load it um, that is the same as a normal clock wheel where we say 60s and it's random 60s and it's weighted 60s and it's the least played. Well, instead of doing that, we say we want to play one from the 60s, one from the 70s, one from the 80s. Save. Thank you very much. Thank you very, very, very much. And that, that's a random clock wheel then. That's a clock wheel which plays one of all of them. But now what we need is we need to look at our station schedule. It's schedule time, ladies and gentlemen. Now, say your station is quite simplistic uh, and it has um, it has a simple playlist. It looks like this. This is your station's playlist. OK, uh, the schedule, um, this, this schedule is telling us that at uh, midnight till 6 a.m. We got we were, we're going to play 60s music. Uh, between 6 a.m. and 7 p. and sorry, 6 a.m. and 12 midday, uh, we're going to play 70s music. And between 12 midday and 6 p.m., we're going to play 80s music. And from 6 p.m. till midnight, we're going to play 60s, 70s, and 80s. And just to keep things really simple, I'm going to say four songs equals 15 minutes of time. Okay, four songs equals 15 minutes of time and then uh if we remember if we just go back to um that's that's and it says four songs loaded at any one time okay so that's our schedule uh 6 a.m midnight till 6 6 till midday midday till 6 in the afternoon then 6 in the afternoon till midnight and then any so it's four songs equals 15 minutes that's going to help with our timing and four songs loaded at any one time in the playlist okay and what i mean by that is a clock wheel when you run a clock wheel it will load four songs and when one song plays it will replenish it at the bottom with another song so there's always four songs in that playlist so then what i'm saying is when you start the next playlist and it loads the playlist at the bottom of those four songs 15 minutes in time is going to play before the clock wheel starts playing that's why I want to keep it simplistic. And that's what we're going to work on now. So over here, you see here where it says keep zero songs in the queue. Well, you can just change that and say four or one. OK, you can whatever, however you work out your timing, that's what you will do. But we've we've made our clock wheels now, but now we want to start using our clock wheels. So um, now at the start of all this 
tuition stuff, I I turned around and said um, what the best thing to do will be uh, to keep your screens the same as mine or at least make a note of what's on mine so you know where to go on yours. So on mine, I'm going to go to desktop B and over here where it says the event scheduler in the top right. I'm going to click on plus because I'm going to start a new event. And over here, I want it this to be the same every day. Every day, the same. OK, um, so I will click on reoccurring event. It's going to happen every day. OK, um, and I want the time that it starts. So I'm going to say right now, if I want it to start at midnight, OK, we've already said four songs equals 15 minutes. And there's always four songs in the playlist. So if I load my new playlist in, it will be 15 minutes before it starts playing. So I want to load it 15 minutes before I want it to start. Are you with me? So when I load it, the last four songs of the previous playlist will end. And then at the top of the hour, bang on the 15 minutes mark, the new songs will come in. So I'm going to say at 23, 45 and no seconds. OK, I'm going to add that time. I'm going to say load a clock wheel and we're going to load 60s and we're going to say OK. Event name and it's going to say load 60s. This is strictly a, a reference to you at 23.45. And so at 23.45, it's going to load that clock wheel 60s. So we say OK. And over here, if I just make that a little bit bigger, we can see load, load 60s clock wheel at 23.45. I want to do another one. Um, now, if we just look back on, on the playlist uh, for a moment, um, we, we saw that 60s was midnight to 6 a.m. Now, 6 a.m. to 12 p.m. is 70s. OK, right. Well, that means that um, 6 a.m., So we want it to start off at um, 0, 5, 45 and 0 seconds. Reoccurring event. And we're going to say load 70s at 0, 5, 45. Like that. And say... OK. Oops, file name is empty. Oh, I didn't tell it down here, first of all. I didn't tell it down there. Um, load what clock wheel? 70s. My bad. My apologies. And say, OK. You must schedule at least one valid time. Right, OK. Um, oh, I haven't clicked add. Add. There we go. That's my bad. So um, I go to reoccurring event on the day. I put the time and then I click add. Um, I call it what I want it to be and I tell it what clock will to load and say OK. Now that's loaded. Now we'll try and do it the <laughs> do it right this time, Marty. So I click OK uh, and this starts. So let me, let me start at the top here. I want to say load 80s. OK, I want to load the 80s. Now if we look at our little playlist over here, 6 p.m. Sorry, 12 midday to 6 p.m is 80s, 12 midday to 6 p.m. So that being said, I, I then know that I want it to be a reoccurring event. And on um, 11, 45, oops, sorry, my bad. I've gone bad with my typing. 11, 45, oh, that's gone wrong again. 11, 45, 45, that's all it is. Yep, and zero, zero. OK, and then I click add. And then over here, I want it to load my 80s. Thank you. I'll get there in the end. Load 80s. And uh, up here, 1145. 
so okay that's all good i click okay to save it so if we look up here at the event scheduler load 60s at 2345 that's cool load 70s at 545 that's cool load 80s at 1145 that's cool okay right that's all good now if we go back to our schedule it says between 6 p.m and midnight is a mixture of all now remember i made that clock wheel which played one from each okay well then then that's all i'm gonna do i go back over here and uh, i say plus and over here it's gonna be uh load random at um 17 45 and then over here, it's going to be a reoccurring event. Over here, it's going to be 17. Here, it's going to be 45. Here is going to be 0, 0. I'm going to add it at that time. And I'm going to tell it to play the random clock wheel. And then that does that. And I say, OK. And I click OK. Right, now that will go all the way from 17.45 all the way around to 23.45 where it will load 60s, which will go to 5.45 where it plays 70s. Then 11.45 it will play 80s. Then 17.45 it will play random right through to 23.45 where it will just play 60s. And that is how you set your clock wheels. Now... Just to make it a little bit more clever. Do you remember this here? This is a script to stop whatever's playing at that time. Okay? To stop whatever's playing at that time. So if you really need to be that critical in your timing, you can cross-reference an event scheduler with this PAL script to stop what's playing at a certain time. Okay, just thought I'd throw that in there. No, nothing to do, nothing to show you. Just thought I'd throw that in there. And that's how everything works together in Sam Broadcaster. By learning each module bit by bit and learning how the module works, you'll realize that all the modules are made to talk to each other and all, and all work together for... Um, the music to swap you use event schedulers and make some clock wheels okay now one of your clock wheels might be where you want another stream to come in okay um there is a video already on youtube here on my selection on how you can play that stream to come in but you might ask yourself why would I want to play another stream? And I will answer that question in the next video. Thank you very much. I am the Broadcast Ninja. I hope that makes some sense to you and it helps you with your station. Don't forget, in the comments below, any questions? Maybe tell me a link to your station. Let me hear. I'd love to hear your station. Uh, also, at the same time, don't forget to click the thumbs up and subscribe if you haven't done that. It all helps. And if you come from a community of Sam broadcasters who all stand around all day scratching their heads thinking, I wish there was something... Uh, a layman's terms to get things working please feel free to d uh, send them in my direction i am the broadcast ninja and i wish you a good day pip pip toodle high toodle high